Hey, and welcome from my prison. Yes, it's my prison. No, I mean, it's just a hostel. But yesterday someone commented on my video that it looks like a prison. It's just a hostel. Anyway, today's video, I will show you a nice way how you can clean up your timeline when you're done and you're finished. This is a feature that actually works on DaVinci Resolve on the desktop. And it's very simple because you just have to go to timeline, clean up your timelines. I show you what I mean. When we come here to DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and we come to the shortcuts menu, option, command, and K. And then we go to, to the left side here to timeline. And now here here we find clean up video tracks. If we click this open, we have a couple of different options. Number one, we have the option disable unused clips. And also we have the option flatten unused clips. So I will explain you both of them and give both a shortcut. I did that now here. And so now the first one will look at all the clips that you don't really use are not visible and it will disable them. So in that case, it's now control command seven, boom. The cleanup of the video tracks was so completely successful. Three edits were disabled in the timeline. So you now see that those clips I put under my other clips and now they are disabled. So I see them, they, are, they will not take any processing time anymore. It's just disabled. But we also have a way to basically say that everything that you don't really use, put it away, delete it and just move it on the bottom. So if you're done with your project and also I would recommend that you duplicate your timeline make this in a new timeline but now if I hit for example option 7 this is the second shortcut the cleanup of the video tracks was completely successful three edits were removed from the timeline so when do you use this of course in the end of your video project and like I said before make a duplicate of your timeline so you can just come here to the timeline right click and you can say duplicate it's always good that you duplicate your timelines because then you don't lose anything on your main timeline and you can make different revisions I talked about this in my Q&A series already, but now I could, for example, go into this timeline here and make all of my adjustment there. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding -ding in the bang-bang-gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, and out and over from my prison.